The topic today is surface area of a frustrum and the question reads the figure below shows a conical frustrum so we have the figures shown calculate its surface area correct to four significant figures so we are going to begin by getting the area of the curved surface and then we'll get the sum of the areas of the top and the bottom parts and then we sum them up so beginning with the area of the curved surface we'll have this formula area is equal to pi into r plus r times d where d is the slant height of the first trump so the first thing we need to determine in this question is the value of d and remember here from that point to this other point we have the height as 9 and the line here meets the radius down here at 90 so that the length from this point to this point should be the difference between 28 and 16 so 28 minus 16 that should be 12 so we have a right angle triangle right here so what you're going to do is to use pythagoras theorem to get the value of d so d here is the hypotenuse so you say d is equal to the square root of height squared plus 12 squared which is the base square so this will be the square root of 225 and that is 15 centimeters so with that we can now come and get the area of the curved surface so area is equal to pi and pi is 22 over 7 times the bigger radius which is 28 plus the smaller radius we have is 20 or rather 16 times d and d we already have as 15 so this worked out should be 2074.2857 and of course that is square centimeters next we will look for the area of the top and bottom so to get the area of the top and bottom the top is circular the bottom is circular so area is equal to pi r squared plus pi r squared which just implies that the area is equal to pi into r squared plus r squared so doing our substitution we'll have 22 over 7 into 28 squared plus 16 squared so that worked out should be 22 over 7 times 1040 and that is 3268.5714 square centimeters so from here we can now get the total total surface area and the total surface area is obtained by simply getting the area of the curved part plus the area of the top and the base so surface area is 2000 and 74.2857 for the curved surface plus the top and the bottom that is 3268.5714 and that gives us a total of 5342.8571 and this is approximately 
square centimeters. Now this is expressed to four significant figures as had been instructed in the question. So finally, this is the surface area of the first term. I want to thank you for your patience until this time. I want to thank you for watching. See you in the next video.